Hi, my name is Courtney. Today we're reacting to Joshua Bassett's debut album, The Golden Years. And we're starting off with Biting My Tongue. I've only heard like the snippets on TikTok from this, so I'm very excited to see how it sounds in full production. to the snippet that he posted on the Stephen Ford account a while ago and honestly like the production sounds so much better on this. I approve the changes. I mean I felt like I knew the song because I've heard so much of it so that being like the opening track and like already kind of knowing it was hard for me but um I don't know I think it's interesting as an opening track. I am interested to hear how the rest of the album sounds just how this sets the tone as the opening track. I'm very intrigued considering I know the next two tracks, The Golden Years and Dancing With Tears In My Eyes. I forgot to say this, but I did react to The Golden Years and Dancing With Tears In My Eyes already. So if you would like to watch the full videos of those, I will have it in a tag up here. The song is Don't Let Me Down featuring Jenna Rain. I did hear this live. Um, so I'm interested to hear how it sounds through recording. <laughs> It sounds like echoey, but like in a cool way. I feel like I feel like I'm underwater. Ooh, it was pretty. I prefer it live. I think when I heard it live, I liked it a lot more than I enjoy the recording. I feel like that's like a common theme for me though. Yeah, I do think it's a great transition after Dancing With Tears In My Eyes. Like I'm starting to see that story unfold because he says it kind of unintentionally tells the story start to finish. And you know, I think going from Biting My Tongue to The Golden Years and then Dancing With Tears In My Eyes to that. And then the next one is Cherry Blossom, which I know is like a lovey-dovey song. So I'm like, I'm very interested to see how the rest of this plays out. I am so excited to listen to Cherry Blossom. I have waited for this moment since I heard the snippet last year. And it's seriously been like what I've been most excited to hear on the whole album since Pretty Please is on it, of course. But like, I'm nervous to play it. Oh, okay. <laughs> This song has also started a lot of random discourse. I'm so excited to hear this song live. Ooh! Okay. This like ending here is really pretty. This song is very experimental for him in a good way. I liked it. I don't know what to expect fully. Um. But it's interesting. I like little dancey songs, cute dancey songs, and that is in fact one of them. So Cherry Blossom, I love it. The next song on the album is Circles. Oh! Is it? What? <laughs> oh shoot. Oh my gosh! Okay! This is like the first song that I've been like fully surprised about any spoilers. Ooh. We go in circles, apparently. I did not know what to expect whatsoever from that one. For a second I was like, is this a country song? But like, you know, like the more pop country. The next song on the album is Wildfire. Oh. We had it good and it was good until it wasn't. Mm -hmm. 
missed on these songs. It doesn't really seem like it was good. Oh, his voice sounds so pretty on this one. So pretty. Ooh. I feel like this could be such a cool music video with like everything in like slow motion. I love his voice on this. The ooze too kind of remind me of Doppelganger a tiny bit. Um, which I kind of got like a tie-in from the music video at the beginning because I feel like, aren't they making pancakes on the Doppelganger music video? Wow, beautiful. The next song on the album is Little Rita, which I've heard. So I'm interested to see how it sounds recorded. It's <laughs> Oh wait, the sounds are cute. Whoa, this sounds so different. Like, recorded. I did not expect it to sound like this. Because whenever he played it, it was at his acoustic show, so I was fully expecting it to just be a acoustic again. I, as soon as the album was called The Golden Ears, I'm like, that lyric, ugh. I have to give credit here, where credit is due. I, I'm not gonna lie, Riddle, Little, Riddle Rita? Little Rita was not one of my favorites going into this. Like when I heard this on the album, I was like, okay. It sounds so much better with all the production behind it and like the little touches of personal recordings and everything. It sounds so much better than when I heard it live. And I really don't think it could have been made a better way, personally. The next song is Would You Tell Me? Ooh. Okay. expecting that. I think for my taste it's a little bit almost too repetitive. I think it's one of those that I need to like listen more to to fully absorb. Way different than anything else he's released I think like musically. Like I can't even think of something that I can compare it to in his discography properly. The next song is Mirror. I've heard this one sad I think. I don't know there was a snippet on TikTok for this one right? Where did it all go wrong? how you know it's like it's he sounds so beautiful i have no notes i have no notes we're almost at the end of the album but this is look how far you've come i'm perfect ending song. That's the perfect ending song. Wow. <laughs> My heart hurts. That's all. I don't know. I don't know. I'm extremely happy that he finally does have an album out. It tells a story start to finish and um, I really do like albums like that. I think he carefully articulated what he was gonna pick and put on here because there are so many songs that I also really like that are unreleased that he didn't add on here and I understand why. So as much as I am bummed about that, um, I think the ones he chose were good selections for this era. And I'm excited for what's to come, hearing this album live and everything else to come for the Golden Years era. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let's me know that I'm doing a good job. And comment down below your thoughts on the album, your favorite song. Let's talk about it. I love having those conversations. 
And if you really want to, you could subscribe to me. I do vlog almost every concert I go to for Josh. And I'm planning on vlogging the album release party if that goes well. <laughs> but anyway, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you later. Goodbye.